Good morning. It is Wednesday the 9th of October and it's 8.42 in the morning and um, yeah, we are on our way to, where are we going? To I think it's a place called Tabua. Tabua? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm sure I'll write it on the screen here for everyone to see. Um, and there is a farm, a farm with a river that we want to go and live at. Actually, Look at, not live at. Well, actually, maybe we do want to live there, yeah. I mean, that that is the whole point, yeah. Um, so, the details of the farm, let me just go and read those quickly and I'll pop back up again. The farm is five hectares in size. It has um, 400 meters of river frontage on the River Dow, which is one of the big rivers in Portugal. Uh, there's two ruins on the farm, both with habitation licenses. One of them is a double story, um, and uh, there is also a stream running through the property. And apparently the stream would be good for hydroelectric power as it runs all year round. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go and check it out. Uh, first of all, we have to go to the estate agency. So we have a meeting there at 10 and we're just uh, driving on our way there now. So we've met up with the estate agent and uh, now we're just following them um, to the property. So after talking to the estate agent, the um, the dirt track that leads to the farm is apparently two kilometers long. Um, when I asked her if the access was good, she kind of was like, mm. so yeah, that's potentially going to be a problem for us. Um, but what we found is a lot of these river properties, uh, the access is never really that good. Um, and I can only assume it's because rivers are usually at the lowest point of the land where all the water sort of flows into, meaning that it's generally quite hilly to get down there. And uh, mixed up with a dirt road, that's just not good conditions for, you know, for access. So we're driving into a little. Uh, oh, we? we're driving into another car. Oh, <laughs> um, we're driving into a little village called Kelas. Kelas. Q U E L H A S. It's quite a cute little place. Cool. There's some little river beaches down there. That is the River Dow. So this would be like a local river beach, I, I'm assuming. Hello, sheeps. So here's the start of the dirt road, um, which apparently goes on for two and a half kilometers. So the road's the road is quite rough. This isn't going to work for um, for motorhomes and stuff. Okay, uh, this is the first ruin. This is the one I'm pretty sure you can't extend. Okay. okay. Going higher up one level. Yeah. Okay. This is the other one, and there, I think you can extend. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. So this one is this. Two stories, it looks uh, quite high. No, I think it's one story. Is it one? Okay. It might be registered as two. The two other things that the cleverness of the lawyer, yeah. he, <laughs> he uh, registered in the rustic article uh, 100 and 120 square meter, okay. which is good because then it is, it's yeah. registered, which is not good because it's a lie. Ah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Know how far the land goes that way? Yeah, that way, the big rock is not uh, uh, is is not in the property. Okay. Down the rocks there is a little stream. Yeah. That's the border. Okay. Okay. And here it's going. I have a topographic survey. This is not a, the hundred percent correct one, uh, but it gives an idea. Okay. How uh, it is. We are standing here. This yeah. is the first ruin. Yeah. Uh, this is the stream. So the okay. the stream is really the border, but uh, the topographic survey didn't do really because yeah. he couldn't go there okay um this is the second and yeah. here's the river so we will see, see oh, okay. Soon ah, okay okay so stream and river yeah perfect yes yeah, so, and this one i've always seen with water uh even in 2017 september yeah. october when it was really really dry it was running we will okay. see if it's still there yeah it's in my opinion yeah my opinion doesn't matter what my opinion is but it's logic that it has been for habitation, at least seasonal habitation. Hmm. Uh, seeing the structure. Okay. Ah, the water is still running. 
Ah, oh, perfect. We put the pipe upstream. Oh, okay. The gravity, it comes here. But there's, the stream is down there. Is yeah. It, do you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 That is good stuff. You see it. Yeah. 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 The, the black pipe. And there's the river. Okay. Okay. Oh. Disturbing. Disturbing. Anything we can see, maybe some. So this is gravity fed from the little river. Nice. No, oh, but last time we've been here with a topographer and there he told me that they find found all the water. So apparently okay. it is known. Okay. I just don't know exactly. So, but so there's quite a there's quite a nice big flat area here that you can do stuff with for sure. And would there be a public right away for fishing? Yeah. yeah. Every river. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, yeah. not a public access. Yeah. So they cannot go to private uh, yeah. uh, properties to go to the river. But if there is a public access somewhere, they can walk along the river and then they can... or in a little boat. Yes. And they have the right, 10 meters, every river, every stream. Yes. They have that right of a public, some kind of public access. It's your land, but it's you cannot say go away. Yes. Yeah. So, so this area now, so we're looking at this whole flat section. Up to where the river is there, that's all part of the Yeah, property. and then there is, when you, in this line, you go over the little stream. Oh, okay. That's this part here. Uh, here, we are standing now about here. Okay. And uh, we can cross here, is then a kind of track, let's say. I can see that, And yeah. okay. there you can, we can go there. And then cool, there. okay. Which side, so the sun comes up there. More or less oh, okay. okay, so the sun comes up from this side. I think you have a very good sun for this because in the winter it will be above yeah. the mountain. Yeah. There, the mountain is a little bit lower, so you are not too long in okay. the winter in the okay. shade. And here again, it's lower, so when the sun is yes. going down, you have a well yeah. sun. A little stream is here. Yes. So, I don't know how much yeah. it is. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, of course. Look, so. Just put your foot here, and then the next jump is to get across there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, not, not flowing. Oh, okay. It is, yes. Is that because they've made it wider or? This is, I think, one of the reasons because well, there's no water coming. Just a little yeah. Bit okay. So it's not running. And, and we have a dam at 20 kilometers, I think. From yeah. Here. So it just slows it so right down. Yeah, as well. It's, it's ending in a an, in an lake. Mm. Is this is this wet down? I, or? Yeah, this will be full of water in, in, in other periods of year. Okay. Cool. And this is where the river comes out into yeah. it. The stream. The stream, sorry, yeah. Nice. So across across the river here, um, the f the farm that's there, are people living on it or no, are they? No, as far as I know, no. And there's uh, a little. It's, there's there are some people taking care of land. You can see it. It's cultivated, or at least it, it was. Okay. And here I've never seen people. Yeah. There I've not seen but heard people working on the land. Okay. That's it's quite nice. Little, it's made a little pond. pool, yeah. And so you as well running water. Yeah. So the water that's coming in here is from some spring up there. Yeah, but not on the, just, the spring is not on the top. It's not, okay. No. Do you think he's do you think potentially they could stop the water from coming in here because of that? They or? will not be allowed to stop running water. Okay. But yeah, everything is possible. Of course, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you can't stop water streams. 
Yeah. Do you think it might it have rights to, to use it uh, twice a week or but this is all not very explored. Yeah. So. Yeah. And would you be able to put a borehole in this land, do you think, for drinking water? Yeah. yeah. But this might be good water, eh? So I would mm. first before you put it Yeah. Get the test, chest, yeah, yeah, because yeah. you have it for free mm. uh, without yeah. electricity with already the Yeah. Gravity light. fed. Yeah. Because it's quite clean water here. Yeah, um, it is. It is, might, yeah. be, might be good water. Another nice flat section. See, these flat sections are, the, are going to be where we can do the most. Oh, that's quite pretty, huh? Over there it was all a bit backed up. And the surface was a bit... A bit dirty, but... So this is quite nice for like little like kayaking or paddle boats or something. Yeah. Because you can do anything on here because this be underwater. Yeah. Or in the rainy season. Mmm. <laughs> We're standing about here. Oh, okay. So it's wow. all till the end. Oh, okay. And this yeah. is flat, and this is this is what you see there. Uh, yeah. Not very virtual. <laughs> <In Dragon Queen. laughs> yeah. What was that? <laughs> dragon. Dragon. dragon oh, good. Okay, I was going to say it felt really big. <laughs> yeah. Lots of fish. Lots of frogs. Very quiet, yeah, I like that. What are the um, the skies at night around here? Are they quite? Can you see a lot of stars, or is it a lot of light pollution? No, I think here nothing. Okay. But of course, I've never been here. Yeah, night, yeah, yeah. In general, as if yeah. you're a little bit remote from the from the villages or mm. little towns, you I think you will have here very nice, a very nice night. Yeah. And generally speaking, if you do get a uh, habitation, what did you call it? A habitation, not licensed, but you called it a habitation. The destination, the, the destination yeah. of book there. Um, you can actually rebuild up to the existing size. But at not, least? At least, at yeah, least. yeah. Okay. And probably in this case, this one, you can extend as you are far away enough. From every from border, the, yeah. From the border. Okay. And from the house, you can see on the river. It is one nice yes. thing can make a nice terrace there, you. Definitely. And probably you can, now you can't, but if you look to the left, to the right, you can see, see probably... Th see the river winding the river. off. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we just need to take these burnt trees down. Yeah. Some of them, yeah. It will make a big difference in the uh, looks. Of course, yeah. Here, if you cut them ten away, you keep two or three, the thick, thick ones. Yeah. Mm. So this is growing, so this oak tree got burnt and this is growing from the, from yeah, the trunk. Yeah, okay. from the trunk. And if you then cut those ones as well, very quick you have the idea to have a, a tree already. Yeah, yeah. Cool, okay. And for next fire, that can happen. Yeah. It's good as well because then as the fire is going normally over the ground, it just touched the, the bottom and then it will not destroy the rest of the the tree. The, the, normally the oak trees, the bigger ones, will s survive. Yeah. Unless they have things around and they got too hot. Yeah. You should plant, because I don't see them here. 
cork oak. Cork oak, yes, yeah, yeah. That's very good as well. Yeah. Against the fire. I don't see them here. It's strange. Yeah. I see some red stone with the border. There is some little post. It's okay. about along this track. Yeah. It goes a little bit over the track and then it goes down uh Quartz River. And there are you. So let's see. That you see the post there, uh, the burnt uh, tree? Yes. I think that's is this one here. Then you go okay. along and then it goes a little bit over. Okay. And then in an in an yeah. All the way down and meets up yeah. with the river. Okay. Yeah. So not straight down, but yeah. like that. Yeah, beautiful place. Um, we're just walking up now. Um, I like the layout. There's there's a whole bunch of different terraced areas really that are nice and flat and nice and private. So you know you could have a bunch of different things going on, like farming activity in one. Uh, I don't know, like camping on one, or like yurts or. So there's definitely a way of splitting it up so that if you do have camping, the guests aren't all on top of each other. They feel like they're nice and private, you know. Um, access is a bit of a problem. I mean, obviously this road can be fixed. It's not steep and it can be fixed, but you know, that's another expense. Um, the access from the, um, from the nearest village is quite narrow. I think motorhomes are gonna have a bit of a problem with that. Uh, you know, if we were to open our doors to people with motorhomes, so. You know, especially along this sort of single track road where people might be trying to overtake each other or something like that. Uh, so that's something that we need to consider. Also, there's a lot of, you know, the fire came through here in 2017. So there's a lot of burnt pine and stuff that needs to be taken down. It's going to be a lot of work to do, you know. Um, and finally, like the river, it's beautiful. Look, there's fish in there, there's shrimps in there. It's obviously thriving as a little ecosystem. But um, there is like a sewage treatment plant that um, releases water into the river uh, after it's been treated. Um, so, you know, I don't know how clean it is, to be honest. Um, so that remains to be seen as well, you know. The actual river itself is quite stagnant and um, Apparently that's because there's a dam about 20 kilometers away and so that slowed down the flow of water um, But yeah, it is quite stagnant looking I think in the dry seasons, it's probably going to look quite quite bad and obviously In the rainy seasons, it'll obviously look better, you know um, But it's not the sort of idyllic river that I was looking forward to Something where I could catch a fish and stick it straight on a barbecue, you know, I don't know if I'd feel uh, Happy doing that in a river where they're releasing sewage so <laughs> um, so yeah so that's something to think about um, yeah nice place I'm glad that we saw it uh, it gives us food for thought but my sort of gut feeling about this one is that it's not it's not for us um, and uh, but who knows let's see where our journey takes us and um, this afternoon we've got another place to look at 
it's also on a river and it's three times cheaper than this one um, and yeah looks quite interesting so Gina what are your thoughts and um, we're making our way to um, the next farm which we're going to go and look at. Um, it is one and a half hours away so um, we've got to get there for half past five so we just left a little bit early. Okay so it's 5.06 and we're just waiting in the parking lot of this um, restaurant. Cool so we're on the road. Uh, it is 22 past five and um, yeah excited to see the farm. I'm starting to wake up again now. I was proper passing out in the car. So this is the, the little dirt road coming along here. We asked her if it's okay for our car and she was like, she was like, is it a rental car? And we said no. And she said, oh no, then it's fine, you know. So this dirt road's really not bad at all. It's actually quite wide and um, this is about as bad as it gets really. Okay, so now the road is going downhill at a bit of an angle, but it's not too bad. And I'm guessing we have to keep going down until we hit the river. So we're going to be going down for quite a while. So yeah, the road seems to have leveled out again. And it's not a bad road actually. It's quite well maintained. It's very green around here. There's a lot of new growth. I mean, you imagine that all these trees were completely burnt in uh, 2017 and that looks like a whole bunch of the burnt stalks all piled up there cool so how long have you owned this piece of land um oh we've had it we bought it four years ago four years okay years ago originally we were going to build down here and then it was we decided we wanted to be a bit closer to the city my okay. husband works in england a lot so he's sort of um he's back and forth a lot and so to get to the airport from here is like yeah and we saw a house we um really liked in Piarish, which is only sort of 20 minutes away but it's like it's a bit closer to quimbra so that was sort of um so it was just sort of a change of plans really so we put it on back on the market okay Okay, so our land starts here. There is sort of under that growth where you can see it's like there's sort of a bit of a wall. Okay. Um, and that demarcates the border of. Yeah, basically. And okay. it goes all the way up to the track, but I'll take you up that way afterwards. It's just okay. easier to sort of access the river this way. Yeah. Um, again, unfortunately, you can't really get along the river. 
Because um, it's all grown up. Okay. I, yeah, I keep need to get someone to come and swim a path for me, but we you know, can. Yeah. Um, nope. Basically, all the way along, you've got a river beach. Um, okay, and so this is the River Elva. It is, yeah. Cool. So, and once all this is cleared, you're seeing the photos online. This is where we like it's a river beach. Once it's cleared, you okay. We had barbecues down here, go canoeing, etc. Yeah. Uh, it's really nice, and you, so yeah, the land sort of drops there, and you can. We had okay. little steps going down, but it's all sort of overgrown now. I've got sort of like most of the trees have come back. Obviously, we had some fire damage, mm. um, but they like. But there's still then, some big ones here, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And they and look untouched. It's not eucalyptus down here. It's all this like there's oaks. There's you know it's all different sorts. Um, so it's really pretty when it's mm. cleared and trimmed, and it's nice. It, it, the whole land's south facing, so it's nice down here in the summer to have the shade of the trees and stuff. Okay. We have had a quote on getting it cleared, um, about 1,500 okay. euros, um, yeah. which we've said we'd knock off the price if somebody did want to buy, but we don't see the point in getting it cleared. Yeah, because... <laughs> because if someone's not going to buy it, one, yeah, you exactly. have to do it and again. Go, yeah. And also, you, whoever buys it might want to do different, have different trees cut down or, you know, of course. so... Yeah. But as you can see, yeah, well, there's like a lower level, which is lovely, um, mm. River Beach. Um, yeah. Once, yeah, as we say, it's all sort of cleared. Um, there's a wall that sort of goes across here on this terrace. Okay. Um, that's been, I think about two years ago was the last time, but if they open the dam, uh, which you can get pre warning for online, it can flood up to there. Um, ah, okay. So you couldn't build anything on this, um, on this section. Okay. Can, yeah, yeah, but I mean, it would probably okay. be silly cliffs. This close to a river to build yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. if you'd want to reinstate it or not. I mean, it does, does the job, you, it's never. Hmm floods above that point so so that's the flood wall okay yeah 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 so Perfect. anything above there you don't have to worry about but they said it's it's not it's only been every two years that i've known it to flood okay and they it's when they open the dam so yeah being stay if you did but we've cleared at the top we wanted the views originally when we we're going to build so i'll show you up there right now but obviously okay. that could be quite easy to mm. believe it or not is a um Fat. It's very overgrown. Yeah. You can get a, a machine down here. We have done so for clearing, etc. Okay. Um, once it's obviously been stated, we put this in so it goes all the way down one side of the land. This is sort of the other border. So yeah, this is a private track though. This is on the land, so it's not no one else could use it, kind of thing. If you did reinstate it. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, the track we drove down is public, so obviously anyone can use it. But and this is. If you put your own tracks in, yeah. it's not public use. Uh, this is what we got cleared. Obviously, it's never growing, but apart from that. Um, cool. Uh, there's another track from here that goes, so this is accessible in two places. Okay. And we also got all this cleared and leveled. Oh yes, so okay. There's two big patches. Originally we were going to do a, build a Casa de Arumish, sort of against the back here, which you can legally build, like a 50 square metre, I think it is, or 30, I'd have to check that. Um, agricultural building. Okay. And then build some sort of sleeping arrangements out here, so you could like walk onto the roof of the... Ah, okay. So like a step house, that's why we've got the two levels, that was our plan, so... Yeah, okay. And when when was this all leveled out? Like before the fire or after? Uh oh, before the fire. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we did it. Um, just to give you an idea. It cost this, I think to get a machine down. I think we spent with the tracks and everything something like seven, eight hundred euros. Really? Just to give you an idea of if you wanted to clear another patch, how yeah. much it costs to do. Jeez, that's not bad. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper than England getting a machine. Yeah, down. yeah, 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 for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Cool. Yeah, yeah, once the trees, sort of the ones you wanted to clear, the view is lovely. No, exactly. Um, so, 
again, that's the other reason we haven't cleared. Some people might want to keep some trees, yeah. some yeah. eucalyptus grows so quickly. We we were originally planning to get rid of all the eucalyptus apart from like 10 trees over there somewhere because mm. that's your firewood then for life. You yeah. cut one down a year and by the time you've got to the end one, the first one's grown right. again. So yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Just keep it for firewood, but... Yeah, of so the it goes all the way down to the river. So That's yeah, the perimeter, still, okay. Then I'll walk you along that way okay. to see the... Oh, cool, okay. Other, um... Oh, perfect, okay. It doesn't actually seem as badly fire damaged as a lot of the other places that we've seen. No? And there's, and there's a lot of growth, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really fertile land and everything. Yeah. Like, like, the trees are fairly hardy. It goes like that route down to the river. Down to the you river, okay. You see there's like a, almost a... Down to the, the river. Trench, yeah. yeah, um and so then yeah, so it's almost what we've just walked of river oh, front, okay. along this top bit. Yeah, okay. you know, it's not far off of river yeah. frontage. It's also another plot included, which is about here. It's like a sliver all okay. the way up to Ray's house there. Okay. okay. Don't know what you'd do with it. It's like this is a public track, you can't yeah. you yeah. can't block it off. We're yeah, yeah. Gonna, we um we're gonna put a borehole there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, just because it's the highest point and ir irrigate the land from yeah. Obviously, that's living well, maybe, there. Maybe you could do a little bit of parking for a couple of cars so that oh, they don't yeah, have to drive yeah, yeah. the cars down. Yeah, or... definitely. Yeah, no, that would be... Yeah, yeah I didn't need that. Um, I mean, there's plenty. You can do parking and a borehole if you want yeah. to. Like, but so, that's the best. We had someone come and... Um, check, check for a borehole, could, okay. And yeah, we can. Oh, and cool. Ray's got a borehole, so you could definitely Is get... Is he English? Uh, yeah, Ray's okay, English. Yeah. Yeah. Ray okay. and Claire English. So, so, all in all, an interesting property. Um, unfortunately for us, I don't know it's 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 not a go um i mean i understand from their perspective that they can't just go and um uh, you know spend 1500 pounds on getting the thing cleared because it's going to grow i mean look how fast all of this stuff has grown already and this was you know this was all burnt down two years ago so um unfortunately because it's so overgrown we we just can't see what's going on in there and uh you know couldn't really see the river or anything so there wasn't anything to fall in love with with that property unfortunately um, and the two flat sections that you you know could potentially use to put something on um, the only access to them is like a vertical a vertical footpath type track thing so I mean it, I'm sure it's absolutely beautiful and I'm sure if you spent the money to get it cleared it would be a stunning piece of land but for our immediate purposes it's unfortunately a no-go so yeah so we're just gonna head on back and um, tomorrow we're just gonna take the day off because uh, yeah, it's been a lot of driving today and um, and yeah we're gonna have a nice chilled out day tomorrow so from us it is adios